Is the beautiful Madeline Klein natural or not? In this video, we're going to find out. In recent years, a new hot young actress has been making the rounds in Hollywood. You've probably seen her face before, but can't quite place where you've seen it. Now I know I've seen her name over and over in the comments requesting for me to analyze her, as well as on Instagram in those before and after plastic surgery type posts. Hi everyone, my name is Lori Hill, and on this channel, I seek to educate you about plastic surgery, as well as to show you the illusion that is the entertainment industry, so that you'll stop comparing your natural self to a celebrity's perfected surgical image. If that sounds good to you, then subscribe. Now remember, all of this is my opinion only, and I have no proof that the celebrity has had any of the procedures that we talk about them possibly having. Never use this video to shame or harass celebrities. Madeline Klein was born on December 21st, 1997 in Charleston, South Carolina. Her portrayal of Sarah Cameron in the highly acclaimed Netflix series Outer Banks has garnered her widespread recognition and acclaim. Madeline embarked on her acting journey in 2009, initially securing minor roles in various television and film projects. However, it was in 2018 that she truly made her mark, captivating audiences with her compelling performance in the film the Giant, which premiered at the prestigious South by Southwest Film Festival. Madeline's career soared to new heights when she secured the lead role of Sarah Cameron in the 2020 Netflix original series Outer Banks, the show revolving around a group of friends embarking on a gripping treasure hunt while grappling with societal divisions and complex family dynamics resonated deeply with viewers and propelled Madeline into the spotlight of stardom. Madeline's talent extends beyond her noteworthy portrayal in Outer Banks. She's made notable appearances in other films and television shows, such as Savannah Sunrise, Boy Erased, and even the popular series Stranger Things. Now, Madeline has also done other things besides acting. She's made her mark in the world of modeling, collaborating with esteemed brands like Next, Sunny Life, and Toby. She's also a passionate advocate for mental health, using her platform to raise awareness about the significance of seeking support during challenging times. Now let's talk about Madeline's natural beauty traits. I absolutely love her face. She has beautiful, horizontally long eyes that are also wide spaced, nice heart-shaped lips, and gorgeous luminous skin. If we look at Madeline's before and after, you'll undoubtedly think that it's quite a transformation. I know I did. The first change I see is where Madeline has added lip filler to both her upper and lower lip. Now the first round of lip filler is very subtle and you can almost mistake it as just being natural. Now the lip filler continues throughout 2018 and it looks like each year there's more and more lip filler placed to Madeline's lips. Now Madeline does overdraw her lip liner, but simply overdrawing her lip liner is not all I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing lip filler. Remember that you can overline your lips and use lip filler at the same time. Now the next change I see, there has been a subtle rhinoplasty performed with the nose's lateral cartilages shaved inwards. The tip of Madeline's nose also looks more defined. It's definitely a finesse rhinoplasty to where it doesn't even really look like a rhinoplasty, but the nose just looks more refined and sculpted without it being an obvious rhinoplasty. Here is a close-up photo of what looks to be incisions for the LR base reduction Madeline may have had. Now, a plastic surgeon posted Madeline's photos online, showing a before and after of Madeline's nose, indicating essentially that they had done a liquid rhinoplasty on her. Now, I don't think Madeline's responded to the claims, but it does look like there was some filler place to her nose, so I'll add that into her total. You may be wondering why she needed filler to her nose to correct a hump if she had already had a rhinoplasty. The explanation for this is that during the initial rhinoplasty surgery, the hump was shaved, 
And while the nose was healing, a callus formed, which then very slightly could be seen through the skin, as you see here in her before the liquid rhinoplasty photo. This is a somewhat common occurrence. Madeline likely opted for the filler to this area instead of enduring more surgery to her nose. Please remember that Madeline has lost some weight during the time period that we're analyzing her in, and I have taken into account the weight loss as being the reason for some of the changes. Now, whatever changes I do mention though, means that it's likely not due to her weight loss, but it's important to note that weight loss can make you look facially different. Take a look at Madeline's naturally full cheeks in this photo. Now look at this after photo where her cheeks now have less mass to them and a hollow appears below her cheekbone, creating a shadow, making her cheeks look somewhat sculpted. This is where I believe there was a partial or full buckle fat removal. Now because Madeline has quite a full face, just having a buckle fat removal will not make her face notably less full, but it will give her a bit of definition to her cheeks. So we're not just seeing a full wall of cheeks. The cheeks in essence become broken up into the upper cheek and then the lower cheek. Now it's in 2020 that I see Madeline's upper eyelids look different. The fat that she had to her upper eyelid has been removed and she now has a visible crease to her upper eyelids. Even though her eye makeup is done in both of these photos, she now has a crease above her upper lid eyeliner in the after. Madeline has likely had an upper blepharoplasty. The next change I notice is to Madeline's jaw angles. They look much less full. It looks like the muscles to her jaw have been diminished. Now the way to do this is to have Botox to the masseter muscles so that over time that muscle loses strength and stops overperforming and you'll get a slimming down effect to your jaw. And this is what I believe Madeline did as well. Now, once you start having Botox to the masseters, you must keep doing it. Otherwise, your masseters will start performing again and you'll gain mass there. Now, it's between these years where I see the largest change. Madeline's brow tails are higher. Her eye corners are also raised and her eyes look even more elongated than her natural eyes. Her cheeks have taken on a much higher look to them with that excess cheek flesh being raised up to fill in her under eyes. Madeline has had a ponytail facelift. This video is sponsored by Zigu, and you guys do not skip over this part because you're gonna miss my fashion show. Zigu makes a collection of fun, fashionable clothing at an affordable price. Their website is full of on-trend looks, some casual, some flirty, perfect for a weekend brunch or a date night, all at a great, affordable price. Check out this gorgeous satin finished top that they sent me. You guys, the quality of this top was so high in person, it looked so much more expensive than it actually was. I'm actually wearing one of their dresses right now, and what I love about it is it can go from day to night so easily, and it's so comfortable, I didn't wanna get out of it after filming. I love the ruching on this dress. It makes everybody's backside look so good. They have it in all different colors. Check it out in pink here. Now check out this two-piece set. Zigu makes these in all different colors and I love just throwing it on and not having to worry about coordinating a top and a bottom. And it can go from casual to dressy very easily just by changing your shoes. Zigu is giving my audience 30% off of their purchase at the official Zigu website. Just use my link down below and put in promo code LORI30 to get 30% off anything you purchase on their website. They're also on Amazon if you prefer to shop Amazon instead. Just remember that the only way to get the discount is to go on their official website. Thank you so much to Zigu for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to all of you fashionable people out there who will be wearing their clothing. Now, you may be wondering, well, she's too young for a facelift. This is ridiculous. And 100% I agree with you, but a ponytail facelift is used for aesthetic purposes. It's often done on young people who want a rearrangement of their facial tissues in a way that to them is more aesthetic. They oftentimes 
will end up looking much more sculpted and even sometimes will end up looking older. Now, the ponytail facelift is remarkable in a sense because there are no visible incisions. All of the incisions are hidden in the hairline. Now, if you do have too much excess skin for a ponytail facelift, the surgeon will likely do a traditional facelift on you. And it's my opinion that if you're older than about 35, more beneficial for you to have a traditional facelift where they remove excess skin. Now it's here that I notice Madeline's chin has gotten very pointy. And this can be due to either getting a small button chin implant or adding chin filler. If I had to guess, I believe it might be chin filler. A filler like Radiase, which is hydroxyapatite, and it's crystals that essentially mimic the look of bone. You do have to have the filler redone every one to three years. Now, Madeline's overall look is beautiful, don't get me wrong. And she started out very beautiful to begin with, but her overall transformation has been puzzling for me because I realized that Madeline now looks like a real life filter. Have you noticed that Madeline now resembles the actresses Dove Cameron and Sabrina Carpenter? Do you see it? Let me know in the comments below. Here are seven beauty products that Madeline currently uses, and some of them really support my theory that Madeline is attempting to look like a filter. Now the first one is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil, which is a staple of mine. I've been using it for years. I love how thin the tip is, and it really allows you to draw in any missing hairs to your eyebrow. Now for Madeline's lashes, she uses the Armani Beauty Eyes to Kill Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. And when she puts it on one eye and not the other, you really see how well this mascara thickens and lengthens. After my Lancome mascara, I think it's called Idol, runs out, I'm definitely going to try this. By the way, who uses this one out there? I know some of you do. This is a huge favorite on Sephora, and this is actually a really great mascara as well. Now the first item to support my theory of Madeline trying to look like a filter is this blush by Benefit. The Benefit Wonderful Blush in Shelly. Now look how pretty that pink is, but doesn't it remind you of that filter? Now for foundation, Madeline uses the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And this one is for medium coverage. And for those of you out there who are looking for more of a natural finish, not too full coverage. Madeline uses another favorite of mine. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil. I'm gonna make sure to put the shade down below, but this is it right here. And this is the one I use on my waterline, and I also use it to create a cat eye. And it's great if you don't like using a liquid liner to create a cat eye. I feel like I have much better control with this eyeliner. Now last, makeup item that Madeline uses that supports my filter theory is the Freck XL. So this is a pencil that Madeline uses to actually create the look of freckles. Now, I believe Madeline says that because she wears foundation, it covers up her natural freckles and she wants to bring them back, but I think she also adds a few extra as well. Now, the last beauty item that Madeline uses, I use as well, and it's this fragrance. The Baccarat Rouge 540. 40. You guys, this is my favorite fragrance. I ordered a box of four of these small ones and I keep them everywhere. I absolutely love this fragrance and I've always said that it reminds me of caramel or some other delicious food item. It's funny because I looked at the description for it and it literally says, it has a sweetness reminiscent of caramel or burnt sugar in its description. It is pricey, so don't feel like you need to get it or anything like that, but I will have everything linked down below. And I'll also add some of Madeline's favorite skincare items to the list. Let's add up how much it costs to look like Madeline Klein. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Liquid rhinoplasty, 2,000. Upper blepharoplasty, 10,000. Buccal fat removal, 5,000. Botox to the masseters, 5,000. Lip filler for multiple years, 15,000. Ponytail facelift, 100,000. Chin filler for multiple years, 10,000. Total cost, 
Madeline is such a beautiful and talented girl. What do you think of the possibility that she may be trying to look like a real life filter? And what filter would you want to look like if you could look like any filter? Please remember to be kind or neutral. Let's not be mean. There's ways to make comments that are not very mean. And I trust that you all will do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Up next, please watch my celebrity analysis video of Dua Lipa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>